good evening everyone our group is going to present on product positioning super sharat next slide okay in this topic we are going to discuss what is product positioning components of positioning sorry sorry, sorry. marketing positioning map five easy steps for brand positioning what are the real examples of market positioning map what are the types of market positioning product positioning process and approaches to product positioning strategies next okay. slide okay what is product positioning product positioning is nothing but the process by which marketers are going to determine the best way in order to communicate their product attributes to their ta target customers based on customer needs competitive pressure availability of communication channels and carefully crafted key messages carefully crafted key messages are nothing but the messages which are designed to convey how your product is different and better when compared to the competitive products as well as to address your address the value addition attributes which are important for the customers next slide Yeah. what are the components of product positioning the components are pricing retailer mix media reviews word of mouth packaging product features competitor claims integrated marketing marketing communication mix okay. integrated market communication mix is nothing but the public relationships corporate communications advertising marketing and pub publicity functions all this corroboratively comes under the integrated marketing communication mix from next slide our friends are going to continue okay. thank you good yeah. market uh, positioning map it means it illustrates the range of the positions that a product can take in a market based on two dimensions that are important to uh, customers like uh, the two dimensions are the dimensions are like a uh, price quality volume luxury and uh, heavy comp heavy uh, complexity so uh, based on these a uh, product can take a position like a uh, low price to product and a high price to product low, uh, basic quality product high quality product Uh, let me explain it through a uh, example like uh, in this figure uh, there are uh, many uh, fitness related uh, uh, fitness related uh, institutions like uh, uh, the, there are four four positions like yeah. uh, in this nafield health the the product uh, stays in the uh, broad range of services and uh, low price so uh, it will gain the market share eventually and uh, the active the, this uh, institute this uh, company will eventually a uh, low uh, the high priced or uh, rich customers go to uh, broad range and high priced uh, position products and uh, like if the product uh, stays in the position of uh, high price and uh, uh, low range of services it eventually loses the market share so, so this is beautiful, beautiful matrix explained so well thank you so much okay, so here are uh, so just for product positioning one of the major key factors is also market positioning Uh, which and here are the five easy steps to use market positioning for accelerating product growth the first thing is like Im initially as we have said about uh, the hidden messages that we have to give so relative to our competing brands we have to make sure that our product matches our consumers needs that is the first thing uh, for this we have to leverage our market positioning next we have to invest in strategic alliances we can't win alone we have to use their external resources also and this will also help in uh, accelerating growth by using alliances of our uh, uh, of other companies third thing is data mining we have to do as much data mining as possible to understand all the opportunities and also to understand our customer this will only help us in better product positioning of the product next there is when we are successful there is always a requirement for change and innovation as new products should come within the existing business our existing business has given us a good market position but new products if we leverage this position for introducing new products we can increase our share next we have to pursue strategies that will create value for all the customers so this includes both product and service as previously i have seen the gym is like a service and the products are the things which is gym is selling to the to the customers so th we have to use these both things to leverage our uh, product placement in the marketplace okay the next is uh, types of positioning positioning the product in the market it depends upon the pricing price of the product and quality of the product and differentiation of the product differentiation means the product should be different from the existing ones convenience the product should make the consumers life easy and customer service as a, a good customer service increases the successful interactions between company and the customer user group this type of positioning positioning targets a particular group of users and explains why the company's offerings are directly ap applicable to the customers next 
Okay, here comes the product positioning process. It is a process uh, through which the product should be positioned in the market. So there are several steps in this process. The first step is define the market where the product will compete. So we have we have to define the market like it is urban or rural or it is national or international like this. We have to define the market where the product will compete. Next is the identify the attributes to find the product space. Means the the product will reach into the market. So we have to add, uh, define the space for the product whether it will be competing with the other product or not. Like this, collect information about the customers and other attributes, and if, uh, determine each product share uh, of the company, and determine other products al uh, along with your product that you are going to place in the market, and determine the target market preferred combination of attributes. I mean, what are the attributes that you are combining with the product uh, which you are launching into the market? And the last one is examining the fit between the product and the new market. Thank you. Next. Okay, so the, this includes the product benefits. Most used strategy is the product benefits. Uh, things uh, like things a product offers to satisfy the needs, desires, and wants of the customers. And price approach. The same product class. There are usually other brands that appeal on the basis of the price. So and product attributes. The characteristics of the products uh, enabling you to uniquely describe a product. So product categories like group of products. That sim that offers similar benefits can be referred as the product categories. Like uh, we can take luxury cars like BMW, Mercedes, etc. Next uh, usage of in special occasions. So the customer is uh, will be looking for some special products, some specific products in some occasions. And competition strategies like keeping in mind the strength and weakness of the competitors. Company plans a long term plan of action. This is called the competitor competition strategies. Thank you. Thank you very much. Superb. You are. Uh.